Question number six, Honourable, Honourable Mary Ann Street. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for the Environment. Has she ever received any advice that the Hawke's Bay Regional Council Plan Change 6, which paves the way for the Rua Tanafa Dam proposal, in its current form, does not meet the requirements of the Resource Management Act for plan changes and would not achieve the requirements of Part 2 of that Act? Honourable Amy Adams. Mr Speaker, I'm advised that none of the advice I have received makes those statements. Furthermore, I note that the advice on which I base my decision is publicly available on the Environmental Protection Agency website. I also note that questions of whether the proposal meets the requirement of the RMA, including Part 2, is a matter for the Independent Board of Inquiry considering the proposal. The Board operates independently of Ministers and is tasked with considering the full range of RMA matters, including technical matters raised in submissions to it. Supplementary question, Honourable Mary Ann Street. To the Minister, has she received any advice that Plan Change 6 in its current form does not give effect to the National Policy Statement for Freshwater Management? the New Zealand Coastal Policy Statement 2010, or Section 67 of the RMA, which requires regional plans to give effect to the Regional Policy Statement. Honourable Amy Adams. Well, Mr Speaker, to the best of my recollection, no, but what I can tell the, uh, the member is that those matters she has raised are not matters that the Minister uh, is properly able to take into account. The decision that has to be made by uh, the Minister, and in this case Joint Ministers, is consideration of the matters set out in Section 142 of the RMA, which is very specifically related to whether the matter is one of national significance, whether it should be called in an appropriate body to hear it. The matters that the member referred to in her question are matters for the Independent Board of Inquiry hearing the proposal to turn their minds to. Supplementary question, Honourable Mary Ann Street. To the Minister, does she think that her colleague, the Minister of Conservation, who was appraised of this information, should have shared the advice he had received about this plan change with her, given her responsibilities for the Resource Management Act? Point of order, the Honourable Dr Nick Smith. The member in the question has claimed that I had access to a report, that I did not do so until I heard it on national radio this morning. Order. Order. Uh, that, is, that is not a point of order. It's very much a debating manager matter, but it's certainly within the hands of the Minister to now answer the question. Honourable Amy Adams. Well, Mr Speaker, I have no ministerial responsibility for what advice or information uh, my colleague had, but what I can tell the member is that both myself and the Minister of Conservation properly turns our turned our minds to all of the appropriate matters under Section 142 of the Resource Management Act when we made our joint decision that it was a matter of national significance uh, and that it should be referred to an independent board of inquiry. <laughs> Supplementary question, Honourable Mary Ann Street. To the Minister, given that the advice has just been tabled today in the House by Russell Norman, in considering that information, draft or otherwise, is it her purpose in proposing to change Part 2 of the RMA and prioritise development over environmental protections to allow such plan changes as this one to go through more easily with fewer legal objections, regardless of environmental impacts. Honourable Amy Adams. No. Point of order, Honourable Mary Ann Street. Point of order, uh, Mr Chairman, uh, Mr Speaker, I seek leave uh, to table, in addition to the, well, the other material Whatever. I was going to table, has been tabled, but I seek in addition to that, Mr Speaker, to table a report from the Prime Minister's Chief Science Advisor order. called The Role of Evidence in Policy order, Formation order. That's and a, Implementation. That's a document that's in available to all members. Question number seven, Honourable Phil Heatley. Thank you.